Hi, I thought you might want another example, just a little more practice on how to determine uh, the rate equation. So we are given a chemical formula, a chemical equation, and it's this. We've got 2NO plus one mole of O2 is going to produce, it will yield two moles of NO2. Now, a chemist went into the lab and they did these concentrations of the reactants. Based on those concentrations, they determined the initial rate of um, the reaction for those conditions. So we need to figure out the rate law. Well, we know this much about the rate law. It will look at minimum like this. Rate equals the rate constant times concentration of NO raised to some order, I'm going to call that M, times the concentration of O2 raised to some order n. So remember, the rate law is completely dependent on the reactants. Uh, we need to figure out these right here. What are m and n? Uh, so I'm going to pick two of my trials. Um, I always want one of my concentrations to cancel out. Uh, let's look. Oh, I see one. Here's trials one and two. Notice the concentrations of NO are the same. So when I divide these, those will cancel out. Now, after I pick my trials, uh, where I might have one concentration cancel out, I always put the largest numbers in the numerator and the um, smallest numbers in the denominator because I don't want a fraction. I don't like dealing with fractions and exponents at the same time. We are going to very simply take each of these trials, plug them into the rate law, and divide them. So let's do experiment two, great big division sign, divided by experiment one. Again, it's because the NO will cancel out and I'm putting trial two in the numerator because it has larger numbers. And then I'm just going to follow this rate law right here. So experiment two, the rate is 0 0.057 equals K times the concentration of 0.02 raised to the M times the concentration of 0.02 raised to the N. Great, easy enough. Now we're going to take experiment one and plug experiment one into the rate law. So we have a rate of 0 0.028 equals K times the concentration of 0 0.02 to the M times the concentration of 0 0.01 to the N. So notice we rigged it. This totally works. The 0 0.02 to the M cancels out. K cancels out. That will be the same value. And now it's just an algebra problem. So we're going to have 0 0.057 divided by 0 0.028. That's really close to um, 2 equals 0 0.02 divided by 0.01. Now just a little reminder on exponents, 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.01, all raised to the n is the same thing. We, we can do that with our exponents, our laws of exponents. Um, so this is going to be two to the n. So here's the challenge. What is n? What value does n have to be for that to be a true statement? Well, n must be one. Two equals two to the one power. Nice. So n is first order. N is first order. Uh, I'm going to make a note to myself over here. N equals one. Okay. Um, all right. So now we want to find m. In order to find m, again, I'm going to pick two trials, but this time I want to pick two values of n of my O2 that are going to cancel out. So let's see what we've got. I want. Um, so I'm saying we could pick trials two, four, or five because they're all 0 0.02. Let's go ahead and do trials two and four. I look at my values. I'm going to put trial four in the numerator because it has larger numbers. Um, so when we divide, we get whole numbers, not fractions. So we're going to have experiment four, great big division sign, divided by experiment two. So let's go ahead and, and plug experiment four into our rate law. Okay, so the rate for experiment four, 0.227 equals K times concentration of NO, 0.04 raised to the M times concentration of 0.02 raised to the, now I know what N is, I could plug in one or I could leave it as an N. It's going to cancel, it doesn't matter. I'll go ahead and put one since we know that N is first order. Okay, experiment two, the um, rate is 0 0.057 equals K and then the concentration of NO is 0.02 to the M times the concentration of 0.02, and that's first order because it's N. Okay, what cancels? The K's rate constant, that's the same, that will cancel, and we rigged it, 
0.02 is going to cancel. So now we can just do a little bit of math. Uh, we're going to have 0.227 divided by 0.057. It's really, really close to 4 equals the 0.04 divided by 0.02 is going to be 2 to the m. So what does m have to be for that to be a true mathematical statement? m must be a 2. 4 equals 2 squared right there. I'm just going to make a note up here. m is second order, that's second order. Now, I want to come back and show you this, um, looking at it by inspection. So you could just look at this and figure out that M is two and the N is one. Um, let's see here. So if I take um, these two trials again, you can do this math in your head. You know that K is going to cancel. Um, so, Again, you find the two trials where something cancels out, so NO is 0.02. Then in my head, I go, okay, two over one gives me two. That's going to be the concentration. Um, and that's raised to the N, and that has to equal um, 0.07 divided by 0.028. And I go, oh, that's just two. You can do all of that in your head without writing it all out. Um, now, if you can do this by inspection, just by looking at it and doing mental math, you still have to give some sort of evidence. Otherwise, your teacher might think that you're just guessing. Um, so you'd want to write at least this much so that your teacher would know, oh, you could do that math in your head. Um, check out this, the two and the four um, trials. So I go, okay, four divided by two, 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.02, that is going to give me two, and that has to equal, so then I come over here, all right, 0.227 divided by 0.057, that has to be four. And remember, this right here was the M. And I chose this because the O2 would cancel. Um, so then you'd say, oh yeah, M has to be two. That would be enough information to justify that you've got a first order N and a second order M. Um, so writing all of this together, we are going to have our um, second order for the NO, that was our M, and the first order on the O2, that was where the N exponent was. Okay, and there's the rate law. So that's the first question that you'll be asked. The second question that you'll be asked is, what is the value of K? Um, so for all of this, know that I have videos on just finding rate using math, finding rate using inspection, um, a video just on finding rate constant. This is just a really big, hey, let's do one more practice to make sure that you're feeling good about this. Um, so if you need to look at those detailed videos, go back and watch those detailed videos. They're under rate in the playlist.